It's Power 106 Brown Bag Mornings. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And we celebrating one of our one of our very own, especially even though you're from the Bay, I feel like we can we can claim you. E- yeah. Even no, though you're claim. a 49er fan, California. Even though, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're out here on Melrose with the cookies. Our guy Burner, welcome. Good Thank morning. You. Thank yeah. you for coming through. Waking back. Like we're talking about the <laughs> about the store reopening. I'm sure that you've been thinking about like this is the gotta come back to Melrose. The vibe that cookies brought to that area. You know it is it is an area already. It has its own esteem. Yeah. But I feel like you guys you made people come out that probably might have never touched that area. Right. So now they're coming out, but there was a closing and now it's going to be a reopening. Talk to me about that. Yeah, we did it fast. You know, mm-hmm. the landlord was playing game. Mm-hmm. He's, he's seen what we were doing. He wanted to try to raise the rent and stuff like uh. that. So we just kind of, you know, found a different situation. I feel like in a better area. It's right next to Cool Kicks and all the good things moving nice. down there. Yep. So next to Desto Dub and whatnot. Yeah. So we're right down the block and we did it fast within three months. You know, better design, new layout opening you know with a killer menu we opened it with a killer menu so that's awesome and that side of melrose is the more foot traffic area yeah. the where you guys were at before it was like once you cross fairfax it's like people don't really walk yeah it was more low-key yeah more we low made key. that block like yeah. uh, one thousand we brought we brought that block back and the yeah. fact that the landlords didn't appreciate that or under or understand or value that's crazy to me but hey yeah we're, we're by people are super excited so yeah that's all yeah no what absolutely. do you have planned for the for, for the reopening because i'm sure clearly already there's going to be the the product yeah but yeah. i know that there's more than that especially with the going to cookies there's an experience down to the way that you guys package your stuff down to the way like that people leave in that cookies bag you know before i saw it in any other like weed brand or or dispensary brand i saw that with cookies the way you guys shape the experience you know well everyone's gonna be there you mm-hmm. already know that yep. i mean the menu like i said like Stores opening based on product is very rare. People are going to say, right. oh, we got this person coming up or this person or, yeah. you know, this celebrity is going to be there. Like, no one's coming there for celebrities. They're coming there for that bag. Yep. So the bag, yeah. yep. the bag is, is insane. The menu is insane. And we did something. Who smokes the most weed in this room? Actually, mm-hmm. who actually, like, smokes weed? I smokes weed? I mean, yeah. yeah. You smoke? Yeah. 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 And, like, re- religiously, like, you actually I mean, really I, like, yeah, for the most part, yeah. Sore. So this, <laughs> this is different, right? This is unique. I got a blue car for you, right? It's, uh, well, here you go. But well, basically, hey, I fir- smoke too. Just kidding. kidding. <laughs> first, thing, first time you come to the store, you get thirty percent off, and then you got twenty percent for life with that. It's like it's oh, heavy. Fire. It's like wow. it's like a black card as well. Yeah. So yeah. I made two hundred of these. I'm gonna go to all the businesses, all our bus boys, all our waiters, all our people at the shoe stores, all yeah. the all the people at the hotels around Melrose. They're gonna get this card, wow. two hundred at least. And so it's cool fire. to kind of build like a little community yeah. right yeah. there. You know what I'm saying like we want to be the neighborhood shop. You yeah. That's how you build loyalty. I know me personally, like I'm super brand loyal. So once I like a thing, I'm gonna to just keep going back to that one thing well why would you have to go anywhere else you're going to get the plug yeah. you're and yep. and you know these kind of you see a little barcode in the back is going to come with little perks and shit like that yeah. so it's like yeah. you're you're tapped in for life and so that's something different we're no, trying we're you. trying to build our community over there and you know show wow. love to all the merchants and shit like that you know, also I think super what's really cool is like obviously aside from the product it's just like the branding has gone so far mm-hmm. where you see people even wearing cookies that have no idea yeah. what it yeah, really it. is. <laughs> and yeah. it's really cool it's like to see. when people see. wear Wu-Tang shirt and you're like, name three songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they, they just can't. Yeah. There are a lot yeah. of, I walk by people wearing cookies all the time that, that don't, uh, they don't yeah. recognize me they, at they all. They don't just, recognize you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool when the brand gets bigger than you. That's how you know right. you got something. Yes. Yeah, I'll probably no. live forever now. Absolutely. Where do you think that comes from when it comes to you, Burner, that business acumen? Like, what is that? Is it? Is it? Were you like low-key slangy not like that? But like when you were a kid, did you have like that for business sure. mindset when you were smaller? I always been a hustler, but mm-hmm. you know both my parents worked for themselves. Both yeah. my parents mm-hmm. were hardworking. My father had a restaurant, Mexican restaurant, growing up. My mom had her own business, and I just kind of watched them get down. The work yeah. ethic comes from them. But I was selling lemonade when I was like seven, shit in front of the house. Uh, I always wanted to make money. I, I lied about my first job when I was thirteen. Had my first job, and got employed a month. And what then, you mean you lied about your? First well, I lied job. about my age. Uh, <laughs> you look that, older. Or what? I just was down to work. Yeah, that's what like, it doesn't yeah. matter. Age number. Number you. Yeah. If, if it says I'm 17, I'm 17. Yeah. I lied and said I was 15, and Come I worked on. for like two months, and then I, you know, so really we, we found out you're only fit, you know, you're only 13. 13. We gotta let you go, but you uh-huh. know, you, you just got employed in the month, so that says a lot of my cool. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I like to work though. That's hard. And then it goes into the rap career. You know, like you've been successful in two careers already that are hard for either pe- people to get in and make a name out of. You know, I know how cutthroat and just watching what my husband has done with Marathon the and, and, and Black Sam and Nipsey, watching what they've done in that lane is tough. Hip hop, rap is tough. tough. Yeah, it's tough. Which one has been more tough for you? The 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 
medical. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. The we cannabis game. industry. We, or cannabis in, you know, the weed industry. game has been. It's just natural. I've been doing it for twenty plus years. I've been selling weed since I've been a kid. So weed yeah. game for me, it's, it is what it is. Music's. It's been kind of tough because you know we're brown, so it's it, mm-hmm. it's a lot tougher. They yeah, kind of sure. put you it's in a, a box, through. you know. Yeah. It's even for when it comes to radio or there's you know, bigger bigger platforms. It kind of like put us in a little box. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. for me, I feel like the music hasn't really been the rolling paper business has been the hardest. Like yeah. I, my rolling paper business mm-hmm. is it's a very monopolized business. But for me, I, look, I got fifty albums, you know, five zero fifty fifty. Not I, own, 15. I own all of them. Five I have zero. I have all the masters. I just finished the album last night. That's why I look a little tired. Besides being, you know, really. You know, wow. waking bake that right now. But <laughs> I, I just ne- uh, knocked out album number fifty one last night, and uh, it's just just fun to me at this point in time. Yeah, you know, uh, it's you're like most, too short uh, when he's like album number ten. You're on album number fifty. Sheesh. Album 51. number 50. 51. 51. Yeah, the last album with OGZ did really well, and that mm-hmm. was that was just fun. I like to do things that are fun for me at this point in time. Yeah. You know, I'm really starting to jump into film. And that that's gonna be tough. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah. T- tell me about that uh, Splash City. You know, I always I feel like I'm a good storyteller, and so I've been doing music. And how much how much longer can I really tell stories through music? I want to elevate the storytelling a little yeah. bit. So I shot my first film called Splash City. I know you guys heard about the Bay. I did pop the windows every thirty seconds. Everyone yeah. gets robbed when yeah. they go to the Bay. I was so scared. It's, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you have to keep your windows down. But we <laughs> made, we made a film based about some of the events that might follow one of those one of those situations. Ah, and so okay. yeah. it's a good Bay Area crime film based in San Francisco, shot in San Francisco. And it's kind of like the first to my storytelling through the film. Damn. That's super dope. You have a of an uh, an affinity for like mom movies and stuff like that, right? Yeah, I let them up. You know what I'm saying? I just I've been, a, I've been <laughs> obsessed. With it. I said movies, but yeah. you know, <laughs> things were more organized. Th- yeah. Things used to be. Be a lot more organized yeah. when guys were in position now but <laughs> look i feel like i feel like films got kind of like kind of sweet lately i mm-hmm. miss the men's societies the boys mm-hmm. in the hoods yeah. yeah you know the you know blood and blood outs you know all the yeah. good classics like there's not yeah. a lot of good movies for us anymore i feel yeah. like there's a lot of you know really sweet stuff right. out there so <laughs> exactly trying to be like a little edginess back to the film space and the cool thing is i'm gonna treat like the music i funded this movie myself mm-hmm. you know it was a big budget and i i took it on the chin i figured it out and i want to be the studio and that's how you actually really win yep. we talked yep. about 50 earlier that's what that's kind of what he's doing now i don't mm-hmm. want to start off like that i don't want to go backwards i want to own yeah. all my stuff and you know actually be able to see the creative vision through that's amazing you know uh, oh, go ahead. oh and i was just gonna say what when are we getting like the burner netflix series Man, you guys are smart people. You know, so, <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, I, I'll say there's a show in development with a pretty big, um, pretty big network, and that's what kind of got me fired up to start doing films uh, on the side, so one can complement the other. You know? Yeah, right. but it's a uh, there's a big thing in the works right now. I oh, love yeah. it. Yeah. Bernard, does it trip you out when people get tripped out that you're Hispanic? You have Mexican heritage in it. And yeah. You, you're, what, is, what is the rock? What do they call it? Ambiguous? Yeah, ambiguous. Like, I'm sure yeah. a lot of people think you're, especially being in the weed game, there's a lot of, like, Middle Eastern, Armenian people that I'm yeah. sure they think that you're that. It's like, not even they think. I feel like they, they choose, like, all right, you're this. I want <laughs> yeah. you to be this, so you're this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I'll take whatever people want me to Yeah, <laughs> whatever you say, I got my it's like, it's like when you go to the strip club and you say, what nationality are you? Whatever you want me to be. But what, hey, whatever <laughs> you want What, what whatever. nationality you like, that's what I am. I, yeah. Hey, I get free food my favorite yeah. Arabic restaurants. I get plugged. I cut, hey, what's up, cousin? Yeah. We got you, cousin. No, no worry, cousin. So yeah. that's like, thank you, brother. Thank you. You know, yeah. so at the end of the day, I'll take whatever it is, but people never know what the hell it is. Mm-hmm. I'm Mexican and Italian for the record, but yeah, that's what it is. That's awesome. That's beautiful. <laughs> to me though because like you even mentioned blood in blood out and it's really important for me that within these hood classics that our stuff gets included too i think of someone like edward james almost who funded american me and on like all the movies that he he wasn't allowed to be in either they didn't write him in he didn't have the look or they didn't believe in our stories and he had to be like no nah, i'm gonna do this and i'm sure that that type of esteem is in you too like i gotta 100%. make you guys see these stories whether you think it's good or not because there's people that are going to see themselves well i think the best thing about it, when you fund it yourself you could you could actually decide creatively how this thing is going to look and feel when you mm-hmm. go into getting funding and going through a bigger studio no not to bigger mm-hmm. studios because i hope to work with them one day yeah but they start telling you what they think people want to mm-hmm. see right. so yeah. things get real watered down real fast mm-hmm. like we all see things every day in our life and yeah. i want to make movies that are kind of relatable to what we see every day and that's what we used to get back in the days and yeah. it just kind of stopped it's kind of weird everything's sure. like really weird right now i'm like yeah there ain't no tight movies or there's a couple but like you know look i want to create a platform for some of those good creatives and they're independent and 
Including you're doing myself. it. Yeah, yeah. including yeah. myself. Gotta How do, do you feel about us? Um, because LA takes a lot from the Bay. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna say yeah. right now. Why we say the Bay invented everything, including the internet? Yeah. Oh yeah. Is what it is. Uh, what about takeovers yeah. though? Because I feel like we have done our own thing with takeovers. We made it such a, and you guys had it already. Like you guys. Side shows. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I've, I've, first of all, it's I, a thing out here right now. I like yeah. the name. Yeah. I think the name is pretty unique. A takeover. Because that's is your guys calling it side show. Side shows. Yeah. Uh, but I heard about the takeovers. Um, actually, we're gonna bring the cookies bus on Melrose, and they're like. No man, they doing takeovers. I'm like, what, like a hostile takeover? Like, yeah. <laughs> right now, it's, it's when they spin the cars. And I'm like, oh, dope. All right, let's yeah. get with it. But I think that I think I've seen a lot of Bay to LA unity in the last yeah. two years, especially yeah. this year. And I love sure. the hell out of it. I've been out here for 15 years. I've had a spot out here for 15, maybe 16 years, and wow. I've always been welcome with open arms here. Yeah. And I, I like to see the Bay and area in LA build a lot more. And, I don't think that you guys are the way you were. I don't think that LA is taken from the Bay. I think they've just been building with the Bay. And yeah. LA's have a bigger platform as far as like music and stuff like that. So yeah. it kind of gets. But what seen. have you taken from us? See? I mean, I've taken a lot of game from yeah. you guys. You know, <laughs> like at the end of the day, like. I opened up my first cookie store that I owned here in L.A. Come on. It was in Maywood. Uh, Maywood, right? Yeah, yeah Maywood. That's like in the heart of And like I learned a lot about, LA. like, I learned a lot about, like, our people out here mm -hmm. in L.A. Like, yep. you know, there's a lot more unity with our people out here, and there's a lot more of right. us out here. And so mm -hmm. I built a really big business. I feel like cookies, when I looked at uh, when I looked at my Spotify analytics, L.A. is one of my biggest supporters yeah. when it comes to music. So I got a lot of love, which love is everything. Love kind of yeah. gives me everything I need to keep going. So L.A. has embraced the hell out of me. That's why I still come here. That's why I'm still here. That's why I put a lot of my efforts into our stores out here. It's just, I get the love. Yeah. 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 Talk to me more about the music, like how you said, um, bef you know, for a long time we've been boxed in, but I feel like you've done such a great job in collabing with all different types of artists. Yeah. We've seen you with Wiz. We've seen you with Ty Dolla Sign. We've even seen you with Tercer Elemento, you know, yeah. which is Cameron, like a Spanish you name group. It. Yeah. Everybody. Dolph, you know, talk to me peace. about, you know, was that intentional or is that just people you're fans of or, or just talk to me about that? I do music because I'm a fan, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of music. And so when I see someone, I I, I, I kind of try to work with them. But I also never want to put myself in a box. I remember early days when I first started rapping, they said, well, you're not Mexican enough for some of these stations. You're not black enough for some of these stations. I'm like, well, I'd have to be anything. I'm just right. me. Yeah. The right. music I'm making is a vibe. So why does it have to fit in a certain box? And I was like, I'm not going to sit in that box. And that's why I just always kind of messed around. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I talk about doing weird collaborations. Uh, I just did a song with the Grouch last night, the Grouch and Devil, oh, wow. which cool. is which is tight. And so I like to just kind of mess around yeah, and just do different things. I'm yeah. trying to uh, get a song done right now with uh, Bob Weir from The Grateful Dead and Erica Badu, and just Sheesh. like I like to just do things that no one expects. So mm -hmm. I'm never put in a box on what I am or what yeah. I do. That's incredible. Yeah. Sheesh. All right, Bernard. I wanted to talk to you about this. I was like, okay, so I was watching the Bob Marley movie, One Love, incredible movie. Mm -hmm. um, they were hot all the time, and they were like creating <laughs> amazing music, right? But then Bob ends up getting cancer. Yeah. And it was really heartbreaking. He saw his life ended at the age of 36, which is crazy a trip to me. Crazy. You know, you have gone through a health scare. And even just within, I don't know, the I feel like when you smoke weed, you're healthy for some reason. I don't know. I just think. Yeah. That. Did it ever like Lots of what's greens. the what's the lifestyle been like? Have you still been able to include that? It does it trip you out? Just like the whole, I guess, your health and that lifestyle. Yeah, well, I got cancer when I was 38, and mine was like really late stage two, consider early stage three, and had to do big surgery and do chemo, and that that yeah. will open your eyes to oh, yeah. actually really appreciate life, change your life. I was on a good health kick for, for a good amount of time, um, for about a year and a half, and then my girl got pregnant, mm -hmm. and then I started eating bad. I wanted, I've been eating Mexican food yeah. every day for then like a month. Then y'all both pregnant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's it been, uh, you, you get cravings, cravings too. It, yeah. All my craving is is Mexican food. So I, <laughs> I love it. You know, the boy, the our boy, our baby boy will be here soon, and when he's here, I can get back to my program. But right. it really, I really start focusing on eating a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if it's in a bag, it's probably all bad mm -hmm. chips, candies, you know, yeah. anything processed. But we and like this is a very important message anytime i get a chance to speak on it like mm -hmm. us as you know hispanics are mm -hmm. probably like the biggest um rate for colon cancer that's what i got yeah. right wow. and it's based on i hate to say it because we all right. love carne asada and stuff like that but red meat sugary drinks processed meat and and that's that's pretty much the yeah. biggest cause and so i seen a study in the central valley they have one of the highest rates there's regions in mexico where mm -hmm. there's the highest rates in the whole world of colon cancer because Jesus. we love to eat the way we yeah. eat that's all there is to eat at the carne asada. Yeah. that's yeah. that's yeah. it that's and that's all i want to eat when i <laughs> it's fucked up. but we got to do better and trying to put some vegetables in our life and try to try to get rid of the coca-colas and shit like that and, right mm -hmm. and and i seen that movie with bob and i was like damn like it, it kind of really sucks because he had um 
a little small window of actually addressing it. And right. That's the last thing, you know, on the health stuff I want to say is like, yeah. if you feel something, get your body checked out because, yeah. man, you can go blow money at, at a club and buy a table or go, you know, get a Louis belt or yeah. go get a nice whip. But if you ain't putting money into your health, then you're kind of actually really playing yourself. You're yeah. lacking right. that. That investment should go, go into you. And Absolutely. that's true what you said about Bob too because I look at it like, I don't know if it's our culture or just people in general. The signs are there. You might feel something a little ways and you're like, ah, no, it's fine. It's like the brush off is real. And low key, it happens a lot with guys. Like I, sure. I find myself oh, being yeah. like, we got to go somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but guys are like, no, nah, it's nothing. It's nothing. It'll go away. And it's like, but then you, you get to see that once you do address it, it might be too late. You know yeah, what I'm nah, Yeah, and the crazy thing is with my cancer, I had zero symptoms when I found it. God, so it's wow. like, by the time you actually get symptoms, that's right. when it's kind of too late. Mm-hmm. So you should always check up on your body. Think about like a car or airplane. If you're not working on the car or airplane, it's going to break down. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Simple. Nah, yeah. burner. You're the true yeah. testament of just making it through and still making money through it. Like, yeah. And congratulations Success. on the baby, by the way. <clears throat> yeah. When's the due date? Uh, March 5th, but I think March he's. March 5th? Yeah, I think Ooh. he's probably going to come wow. sooner. Sooner wow. than that. So I need day Dang. Now. So March 6th, the diet comes back in. <laughs> <laughs> March, March 8th. March 8th. Okay. March 8th, the diet will come back in. But I got I to gotta get back on it. Yeah. I think as soon as I see his face, I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I got to stay for it's this. Time. Yeah, I'm 40 years old. Yeah. I'm yeah. 40, but I have a baby. You so. look so freaking young. Dog. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Is it the greens? Need to uh, keep you I think it's. I think it's a good. It's weed your Italian it's, side. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. It's probably like the Mexican Italian. I yeah. don't know. I just I got blessed, but you know, forty having a baby's kind of kind of trippy. I yeah. don't want to be yeah. like some of those dads that looks hella maniac mm-hmm. when I go to school to pick them up. I want to be a cool dad. My I biggest tell fear. You guys right. all the time. Yeah. You don't want to. You want to be able to run with your kid and catch yeah. up to yeah. them yeah. and be yeah. there yeah. with them. Especially a boy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Maximo just started on our our health thing and. We've Facts. just been going at it all year mm-hmm. so far. And, uh, yeah, it's like the first couple of weeks, I'm like, damn. This is like you said, like a car. Like we hadn't started it up yeah. in a couple of years. Nah, you're <laughs> rusty. That's how I felt. But so, yeah. You know what the key is, bro, for health? And I don't want to sound like I'm preaching too much. Nah, on I people are like, man, shut up, man. But I love <laughs> The key to health, and like if you really want to be smart, bro, like when you go to Asia or you go to Europe, the amount of food you intake over there, like the serving sizes are so yep. small. Mm-hmm. Out here in America, they play us, dog, mm-hmm. on purpose. The key to health is one meal a day, dude. If you wake up Jeez. and you just kind of let your stomach rest, you have a little, maybe a little fruit, a little nuts, have that one meal around two or three, and then have a little fruit and nuts after that, mm-hmm. and water, you're straight. Mm-hmm. I lost like 40 pounds by doing that, like in two Damn. months. Wow. So crazy. it's like you sh- your stomach shrinks, you start realizing you don't have to live to eat, you eat to live. Yeah. And you save a lot of money in one meal a day. Hell yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah you get You'd be a little more creative with the one meal you have. You don't have to have just chicken and vegetables right. or fish and vegetables you can have a burrito dog yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> make it what you, know? you want to make it yeah. yeah but uh speaking of uh money mm-hmm. you were uh top five on rolling stone's wealthiest rapper list talk to me about that Burner. it's Sheesh. like when frank lucas wore the coat because <laughs> then everyone like you're the answer to everyone's problems yeah. and like damn burn like didn't know right, you had cool. it like that but hey burn i got here? this idea yeah <laughs> Man, you know you know i knew you back when you were 12 yeah. but i think that that was cool because i'm the only one that looks like us all mm-hmm. of us yes on like yeah. you got jay-z you got kanye you got yeah. dr dre and uh diddy on there with yeah. me and i was like i seen it, i was like i remember being at the airport i seen it, i was like okay well I guess the cat's out of the bag, but yeah. it's cool to actually get get given your flowers like that. Like, Absolutely, right. and like it's cool for our people to see that. You're like, it's damn, possible. like it's mo- it's motivation. Like, dude, if he did it, then why the hell could we do it? And yeah. Yeah. I'm hella old already, so all these young fools got yeah. hella opportunity to kind of build it. But I think it was a big step because you've never seen someone like that, like us on that Not list at all. ever. Yeah. Not at all. Never. That's so I'm incredible. like, all right, cool. We're gonna break down the door then. Yep. You did it. Yeah. That's incredible. Let's go. Yeah, that yeah. was big. Felt so, good. Can I have five dollars? <laughs> yes. yes, I only have hundreds in my pocket. Oh, so damn! No, no, I, I, actually, I, I stopped carrying cash. But that's, good. that's smart. That's smart. No, dog, you're an example of legit, like just the grind. The you know, you talk about your parents, and they probably had to be resourceful when they made when they were coming up. They had the restaurant and they were working, and you saw that, and you take that in, and you employ. So that did that. My yeah. mom used to work a newspaper route. Never told us until I caught her, and she was you like, know. "I had to do what I had to do to make mm-hmm. money for us. I didn't want to be embarrassed. I'm like, damn, you're throwing." newspapers and shit you got yeah. your own business but like she had to do what she had to do that's that I, early morning wake up because wow. she had to be up before the sun rose to drop mm-hmm. people's papers off that's when you you know and now you drop off the other type of papers yeah. come on yeah. let's yeah. go burner and then you can roll different them different yeah. type of papers yeah. all type of papers <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what I just thought about to that point like you being a role model 
it's like there's a lot of kids that grow up and they, they smoke weed, obviously, right? But now they have somebody to point at and be like, Mom, I'm going to be like him. Just mm-hmm. wait. Just give me like 20 years mm-hmm. and I can be like him. And they yeah. can, it's an actual be like, look, he's, he's, he's Mexican. You know, he does this. He smokes weed all day too, but he's also really rich. Yeah. I, think, could be I, think, one day. I think drunk fools are way more dangerous than high fools. You know <laughs> <what I'm saying? laughs> like, well, that's true. Talk about it. <laughs> you know, you get drunk, you never know what you're going to get. Yeah. It can get yeah. spicy real quick. Yeah. You remember. <laughs> yeah, but you stoned, you just mellow like I am yeah. right now. I'm extremely stoned right now. Yeah. I'm calm. I was on time. Great I'm, conversation, though. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. how to carry myself. I'm that third eye is open. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm going to work all day. I'm, I was smoking all night last how night. How do you do it and you stay productive? Because that's I think that's the common misconception, I guess, at least I have. Yeah. Because the time that I ever did it, I was slumped. I turned into the sofa, right? But <laughs> like how a commercial. You, like, what, like, you do, I mean, like, it's, like, even last night in the studio, where I banged out four songs last night, and I got in at four, and I left mm-hmm. by two but I smoke so much it makes my little heart beat I'm just mm-hmm. like so it's like a little coffee for me it's not like I'm yeah. smoking uh, weed like laying down just right, chilling right. out and order ice cream now I, I smoke weed and get nervous and start working and that's yeah, it yeah I gotta do mm-hmm. something what, what yeah. can I do? Yeah, it's, it's all about getting in rhythm once, yeah. you, once you understand how to do it it just works and my tolerance is probably my lungs probably look like carne asada at this point <laughs> I've been smoking for years I've probably got resin yeah. rings everywhere oh right my now. god so like, oh. scrape it my to- my, yeah you can smoke my lungs my, my, my tolerance is kind of high so it doesn't slump me so beginner smokers don't take my advice if you just blow it down all day you probably fall asleep yeah but. you probably will fall asleep yeah. there's, there's levels to this exactly. no Bernard thank you so much for coming through thank you and yeah. the cookie store reopens on Melrose do we have the address yes it's 7569 Melrose Avenue, right yes. next to Cool Kicks. Go right get some kicks cool and kicks. go get some weed. Some weed. Yeah. And, you, and bro, take you some got, flicks. Look it up. Got I got the card. I'm gonna yeah. pull up. That's hey, special. Yeah, That's all his special. homies just give. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Run, run I already know everybody hit me up. I haven't even looked at my phone yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Maximo got the card. You got the blue card. You want the black card? We come to do a big order for all the homies, but that's what we want, man. We want to give it to people that actually really smoke butt. So, thank you, brother. And you're the first card too, by the way. Wow. Don't tell him that. He already says he's the star of the show. He's Beyonce. Yeah, yeah. Now his hat's gonna get here. even bigger. <laughs> he needs another hat size. He's coming higher now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's time, <laughs> he 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 like Burner came hey. in. I love it. Thirty thank minutes you. early. Thank you, <laughs> Burner. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, Burner. Anytime. Bring yeah. music. We got you. Anytime. This is your home too. Like you said, you've been yep. out here, and I know you've been embraced, and you're you're the primo now. Right and on. CA yeah, for cookies guys. only. It's cousins. Right on. Yeah, no. Come on. Keep it here. It's Power 106.